Long involvement with art and writing through my professional and business background and personal passion, culminating in a painting splurge in later life and some exhibiting during the past 10 or so years. And this demonstrates a further idea embraced by our salon, the encouragement offered to young people to show work alongside or mature artists and to benefit from their encouragement. God, our Unofficial Poet Laureate of Frankston, who has responded so kindly to become involved and is known to many of you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to pass over now to Gov. Thank you, Linda. There is a stain on the art gallery floor and everyone is looking at him. There is a woman weeping next to the blue canvas in the corner, and everyone expects him to have the words to say. But all his sentences go unfinished. They meander for a while, and before he knows it, disappear over the horizon. He knows he should have said something earlier, but the sea got in the way. She wears a skirt made of wine. It is never the same shape twice. It swirls around her hips and knees, folds and unfolds her as she walks towards the water. The key is still in the keyhole, the foot still in the shoe. <coughs> she wades down the shallow end of the pool and raises an umbrella to keep off the rain. Mirrors cannot be switched off. They keep working, working even when there is no one looking. Sometimes they leap out at her. A blind corner, a shop window, the chrome finish of a bumper bar or a cattle. She tried to smash one once, but it turned into a hydra. She counted 17 definable pieces and each one held her face just as clumsily. She paints the white painting black. She uses a brush with sleek lines, a single hair from it hides in the darkness. It's February and over 40 degrees in the corrugated iron shed. The cobwebs are in tatters in the corners. The blower back sags against the wall. The timber beams start to droop. But she keeps thinking that it's winter now that the snow gum has died. That's from Frankston for Beginners. Thank you. 